We, our planet, stops in its trajectory away from the sun at this time. It stops, stopped on the 19th. So, sunrise, sunset, the hours of darkness on the 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th are all exactly the same. 16 and quarter hours of darkness. Yeah. Sunrise on the 25th of December, which is apparently an important day, I don't know, um, <laughs> is the turning of the sun because there is one more minute of daylight. And that is perceived as the birth of the new sun. The sun has died, you know, the sun has stopped moving away from it and starts moving back towards it again. So the sun has stopped 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 the Something so, so everyone should do at least once, witness the sunrise. <coughs> For those who aren't aware, the sun would have risen through the groves and set fire to the bush and then moved along, along, very gently along the horizon and set quietly behind that huge tree there, whereupon it casts a shadow from that stone there, reaches the obelisk in the centre here, which would be the opposite to the midsummer solstice. Yeah? An alignment. That stone there is the stone that the circle here are aspected for ceremonial purposes, for so training purposes. That stone there has for some years for sexual determination of the unborn. So when a pregnant lady is in her 13th week, we now know that the Y chromosome kicks in, or not, we get a male or a female baby born, correct? Those who are aware, yeah? <coughs> we, I know from my training that there was a druid ritual for the lady in the 12th week to be brought in front of that stone there to ask how she felt. But it had no one to tell the story of how she felt sick. The lady who was pregnant knows she was still sick enough most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when I bring you in front of that stone and you feel euphoric, you've got a boy. I've done that now 16 times and I've been right 15 times. The one time I was wrong, the lady was so drunk she didn't know how she felt. <laughs> <laughs> no. Everybody, anyone here for their first time? I'm here for my first time. Yeah. Yeah. Get you out the house. <laughs> Stop you from going to work. Drive all that central heat, a bit of fresh air in your lungs. Make you enjoy your breakfast when you get home. <laughs> it is actually a serious time because we are actually witnessing the return of the sun. So we're honouring the sun. I have uh, one little. I'm just not exactly a prayer. It's more of a chant. I want to do it. Uh, give us our strength. And with that strength, knowledge. And with that knowledge, understanding. And with that knowledge and understanding, the knowledge and understanding of justice. And with that knowledge and understanding of justice, the love of life itself. So motivated. So motivated. So motivated. Oh, could give him a quick chance. Chuck. Good morning. Happy 